get Mumbai property updates weekly. Kindly subscribe West Coast Realty and press bell icon. I grew up on the sea. It's a big part of my life and what I am. And the sound is a big part of my life. I think Farhan and me were both instilled with a big sense of history. At the same time, we were just allowed to explore the world. Hi, I'm Zoya Akhtar. You're watching Asian Paints, Where the Heart Is. Welcome to my home. Where the heart is. Welcome to my home. So it's got a lot of history. I feel like all the rooms, the walls resonate. It's seen some crazy times. It's been around uh, with my parents in the 70s. I mean, it was a completely different era. And there were lots of artists here, people from the film industry. It's seen parties, poetry readings, it's seen musicians. It's been through a lot of things, so I can't say I built this house. It's a part of me and it's cosmetic and it's things like I travel a lot, so it's got stuff from all over wherever I go. It's got old things mixed with new things. It's my style, but the soul of the house, it's inherited. This is my living room. This is the lounge, that's where we eat, the dining area. So in my living room, this wall was like a thing. It was like the largest wall right now in this space and I didn't know what I wanted to put on it. Till it doesn't feel right, you don't want to put anything, so I leave my walls blank. My walls are all white because I like color coming in with different elements and textiles and art. If I want, I can change this room overnight. I love these chairs actually, they are like these 1950s aviator chairs and they're like metal and leather and wood and they've got a bit of a bounce when you're on them. I think they break my room up, which is why I like them because it's quite formal and the seating is quite classic. So I think this just funks it up a bit. This is uh, the guest room on the right. This is where um, all my friends come and stay. It doesn't have a sea view. But it's, there's something cozy about it. It used to be Farhan's. I mean, it still is Farhan's, if he wants it. This staircase, when we were kids, used to be spiral, actually. And uh, we changed it, like, about 12 years ago, I think. Like, it took up a lot of space, this entire area. There was no space under it. So we got rid of it, and then we made it wooden. Also, that staircase was not my favorite, because I fell off it and cracked my nose. I like natural elements, I like stone, I like wood, I, I like it, I think there's a certain warmth that it brings uh, to the house, I like it. This, this is my comfort zone, this, like if you blind me right now and ask me where, what is, and I, I know everything that's in this room, everything. This table is actually a naga bed, it's just carved with one uh, tree trunk. This massive tree and they've just carved it, it's got no hooks, no uh, joints, nothing. This couch is my second home. So this is the room where uh, a lot of the writing happens, this is the room where a lot of the hanging happens, this is the room where movie watching happens. Okay, I'm going to show you something. At the risk of being called a hoarder, all these cabinets are full of DVDs and I, I, I can't get rid of them. I just can't. They're all my films. So all my film collection is here and I will not get rid of them. This is the extension. This is the study. This is where all the books are. This is where between here and there all the writing happens. I have a lot of books. I follow a lot of photographers. I have a lot of cookbooks. I'm not crazy. I would not lend something, but I do like. I don't like losing books. Like I don't. I don't care about clothes, uh, really. So uh, I mean, if you take it and I don't get it, I'm fine. But I don't. I don't want to lose my books, and I don't want to lose my films. So if you take my books and you don't return it, you're not going to be invited at the next dinner party, for sure.
I have many favorite things and they keep changing. Currently they are my these two images. This was like the first screening ever of a 3D movie. This is my room and uh, this is uh, my sanity in the city. I've got the sea right outside and uh, it's bliss. I want to use my room only to sleep. I don't work here, I don't hang here, so this should be just be like my sleep sanctum. I've always had a globe or a mat. I had this big globe when I was a kid that had a light in it. I just uh, always feel like I can travel the world without leaving my room. It's lovely, I always decide where I want to go. You know when the shit goes down, I mean you can look at this and uh, I'm just a dot, you know. It gives you perspective, so get over it, you're just a speck, a dot, at the end of the day. This is where we hang out, every time there's a dinner party or party, everyone ends up here. So this is the part that I'm most chuffed about. This is the part that is, that makes me feel really lucky to be in Bombay and blessed and have a, a space outside. So I thank my parents every day for this. It's very green, it's really pretty and that's my mother because uh, she's the one in the family with the green thumb. It's nice to have a little patch of grass in the city. This house has always been an open house. Even when we grew up it was an open house and I think it's just continued to be one. And obviously people that come in and out are people you love and trust, you know. And uh, I like that. I think everyone in my house likes that. In a sense to have a place where people we love can come anytime. To get Mumbai properties updates weekly, kindly subscribe West Coast Realty and press bell icon.